What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another Clash Royale video and today we're going to be pushing that ladder. As you guys can see I'm just about to hit 5300. I have been pushing off camera. I've been pushing so so much today. I literally went from what what, what were we at? We were like 5000 or something. We're nearly at 5800 or 5300 now. I really by the end of maybe this week I want to be around 5500 and then the last week pushing I want to get up to 5800 to around 6000 I really want to aim for that 6000 mark this season hopefully I will get 6000 this season but I'm not too sure if I will we're gonna be using the tornado variant of my deck today you know as you guys know I kind of use like princess or tornado it depends what mid I'm in I've been really digging the tornado recently so I haven't been using the princess as often so yeah guys we're gonna be using this deck and I'll see you guys when we get into the first match Alright guys, so we're playing Nova Dark Knight here from Nova NA. I did actually lose to this guy earlier in the day, so it'll be interesting to see if I can come up and actually beat him this time. Well, we'll I guess we'll see. We'll see if I can uh, come out with... Oh yeah, so he is using... I'm pretty sure he's the giant graveyard user, but I'm not 100% positive. If he is the giant graveyard user, this could be a pretty tough matchup. He is going to go ahead and fireball this. He's either giant graveyard or the giant uh, musketeer kind of deck. I'm not too sure which one he is. But I did play against him earlier and I did lose to him. So I'm really hoping for this W right here. Okay, so he's got that minions or those minions right there. This is a, uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough matchup. I'm going to just go really counter aggressive right here. I just straight up just put another mortar down. He is going to lock onto the tar, which is awesome. Then we're going to go ahead and put the archers down. Is my archer going to target his or no? No, my archer's not going to target his musketeer. Okay, that's fine. I don't really mind. Right, so his left-hand tar is down to 2,200, and his right-hand tar is down to 1,600, which is awesome. That is, like, that is really, really good start off there for Ferg, man. That is really, really good start. Right, we're going to see what we're going to do here. I think he's got more electric than me by maybe one. So we're going to see if he places something before I do. If he does... Uh, he's not going to okay, so I'm gonna put the knight in the side that I'm actually gonna push in I could have put it in the side that I was gonna defend in but man. I want to stay aggressive Um, okay, so he's got the Minions coming down right here gonna get those minions away and then after that I believe this is the tornado placement for a giant Then I'm gonna put the goblins down and okay, so I see this guy He's gonna put the miner down maybe here or maybe not because I've just placed um archers but yeah i'm gonna put the knight down to protect those archers and oh damn he's got the musketeer i was thinking about making a big push there but of course he has the musketeer so that's not going to be what i'm going to do and um, he might push with this right now he might push with this is he going to push no i'm still going to log the musketeer back to get some chip damage on the tar and obviously stop the musk all right so we're going to put the, uh, the uh, mortar down right here i'm not going to defend against that miner man he's probably going to put the giant down yep he is so what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to tornado that giant up there and my mortar is going to get the lock on and the tar he's probably going to put the minions down yes he is there's my fire spirits as you guys can see i've run out of counters for the minion horde that he's about to place but it's okay because i've got a lot of troops right here a lot of elixir a lot of troops man it's looking okay fine and dandy right here i can get those fire spirits down and that's going to be Probably if he doesn't have rocket, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be GG right there Like there's nothing he can actually do right now That's gonna you know affect me in any way to get 900 close to a thousand damage off my tar You know what I mean? So like we're looking we're looking pretty sturdy right here and um, probably gonna get that uh, Wow, the musketeer is just out of range. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna just rocket that to be honest man I don't want any of that stuff in my tar. Then I'm gonna put the goblins down. He's probably gonna miner up here sometime Oh, I didn't get the prediction, however, that is kind of annoying. I'm going to go ahead and log it, to be honest. Yep, there's the log. Um, does he have fireball? Is he cycled? Is he cycled? Is he cycled? No, he's not cycled, so that is GG. Well played for the first game of today. Level 13, Dark Knight. I played him earlier today. I lost him. As you guys see, once you play, you learn, you live, you learn. You know, you learn against these different kind of decks. I did lose against this guy earlier. Let's actually go ahead and check. Where, was, it, was, was it early enough to um, be on my game list? I don't think it was. I think I played him a really, really long time ago today. As you can see, I've been playing loads and loads today, guys. Like insane amounts. But yeah, he's not on my, he's not on my um, replays because I played so, so much today. But yeah, that's us into 5300. Let's go ahead and get into our second game of today. As you guys may have seen, I do have 40,000 gems in my account. I did go ahead and spend $300 on gems just so I can max my account out completely. I want to get max legendaries, epics, rares. As you guys know, I do have all max basically uh, commons. I did have 550k gold yesterday, but I did go ahead and max my bats. I maxed, what else did I max? I maxed a few cards yesterday, actually. I maxed bats, minion horde, uh, goblin gang, and I'm pretty sure I upgraded uh, arrows or something. I'm not sure what I upgraded. Oh, hog and giant. I upgraded those two cards to level 10. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get into match number two and see if we get a nice little juicy match. 
All right, so we're playing Trainer Trigger right here. I've never played against this guy. I have no idea who he is. He's up this high, so he must be pretty good at the game. Let's see how well he does. He might be a new level 13. That's why I've never played against him, because usually up here, you only play against level 13. So you never play against a level 12. Okay, so we've got the log. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's see what he has. I'm going to put the knight in front of that. Kind of a little bit of an overcommit, but it's okay. Boom, going to tornado that up again. Hopefully that more gets the lock on. Yes, it is. Then I'm going to go ahead and... Wow, okay. I did not need that. Okay, so this is going to... If he has zap right now, it's going to be GG to him. He doesn't have zap, but he does have log, however, which is still pretty damn annoying. Um, he's going to get a really, really big amount of damage off right there. That's really, really big damage. Um, I think I'm going to let this knight go, man. It's going to do about 1,000 damage, maybe a little less. No, oh, it's going to do a little more than 1,000. That's kind of... Ooh! Yeah, so just over a thousand damage, 1.2k damage there done to my tower. Um, we are pretty far behind on Elixir right here, just because I really did, like, I overcommitted, put it that way with the knight and stuff. Okay, so he's got the Inferno Tower, that's pretty, I don't know, I don't really know what to say about that, man. It's, it's, it is what it is, he's got the Inferno Tower. If he does play that next time I put my mortar down, I will spam a lot of trips in front of it, and, like, obviously, um, take care of the Inferno Tower, so then my mortar will shoot the tower. Okay, so we've got some nice push. He's probably going to gang it up right here. Yes, he is. Don't know why I logged that when I had all those trips down. Probably a pretty bad play by Ferg. I'm obviously making a load of mistakes right now. Oh, wow, okay. Um, That was probably the worst mortar placement I've done today, but it's all good. So we've got the mortar going to lock onto the princess here. <laughs> we are playing very bad this game. Making a lot of mistakes, so if you want to see a game where I am playing bad, this would be it. Okay, wow, so we put the Inferno Tower down there. That's that's an interesting play. Right, so we got we got the we got the rug in the tower because he just put the Inferno Tower down. Waiting for this Okay, wow, okay. So he does have Rocket himself. That is very interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put all this stuff down. The the mortar's gonna be on the tar, that's awesome. Mortar is on the tar right now, guys. Mortar is on the tar. Right, we need we need a um we need one more hit from this mortar. Um it's looking pretty good. I don't want any damage from this hog. Hog's not going to get any damage. Mortar's going to get another shot. Mortar's going to be on the tar. Our second mortar. He's going to go ahead and rocket us. Rocket us right now. Our second mortar's going to be on the tar as well. And um, this is going to be pretty nice. Our second mortar is going going hard. And um, don't really want that on my tar. Or don't want that anywhere near me, to be honest. And um, that knight is going to get a lot of damage off, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, wow, okay, so he, he doesn't have Zabby as logs, so we actually went ahead and won that game. I played really, really bad that whole game until the end, and I did a crushing little bit of push in there at the end, and guess we came out victorious against Trainer Trigger. Let's see um, what his highest trophies is right now, because I don't... Wow, so he's finished top 300. Wow, okay, I never heard of this guy, ever. He's been to nearly 5,500 this season, which is where I want to be by the end of this week. I want to be on 5,500. So yeah, we've won two matches. Let's go ahead and get into match number three. I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright guys, so we're coming in with match number three, the final match of today. We are playing against Andreas, or Andrea 5. Uh, it's Andreas, or Andrea 5, not too sure what it is. Um, uh, hopefully he's not watching this and I butchered his name or anything like that. Gonna get the log ready just in case. Okay, so he's not gonna be a, he's not gonna be one of those guys. He's got the minions. He could be the minion horde, like the minion bait guy. Yeah, uh, one of those kind of, oh wow, okay, so he's not gonna be a minion bait guy. I have Knight as the last card in my rotation right now, which is absolutely awful, because I have to cycle all of my, like, spammy trips before it, which is really, really annoying, to be honest, guys. That's really, really annoying right there. And I'm not too sure what we're going to do right here. We need to see what he plays. Um, oh, man, I'm, I don't know. Will I tornado it up? Yes, I think I'm going to do that. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is, this is rip, man. Wow, just because of all of my... Because I had Knight as my last card, it really screwed me over right there. Because I obviously had to put down all my spammy DPS units in front of the Knight, which was really, really, like... That's really not a good move, you know what I mean? It's really, really bad move. Uh, but I had to do it because of my starting hand, which kind of puts us in quite a bit of a deficit right here. He does have the Timstone, which is a direct counter to the Mortar, which is also really annoying. So he has the Golem. If he has Lightning, man, this is going to be a really, really hard matchup. But if he doesn't have Lightning, I may be able to come out with a W. But honestly, I think this is going to be a loss right here, guys. This guy has a really, really strong counter deck uh, to me with the Tombstone and the Golem and what's going on. So it'll be interesting to see if I can actually come up with a W right here. Hopefully I do, but I'm doubting myself right now. I always do. When I play against Golem, I'm always doubting myself, man. It's just uh, Golem, man. It's Golem. Like, 
when you're playing Golem against um, what is it called? When you're playing Golem against uh, when you're playing Mortar against Golem, it's always really super hard to uh, win. Please, please, please. Wow, I got the tar. Really, really. All right, so we're gonna Mortar up here. Uh, see what I mean, man? The Tombstone coming in. Cl Boy, this is GG, man. I hate games like this where I can't win. Like. I can't do anything against this guy because of his deck. It's so annoying. Yeah, this is GG, man. Oh, screw you. I'm just going to rogue at it. Really? Really, Gollum? Yeah, so that's GG, guys. Um, <laughs> I guess we're going to end the video there. I'll, I'm will i not going to show you the rest of the match, man, because it's GG. It's like there's like 15 seconds left. So, yeah, I guess uh, I'm going to wrap the video up there, guys. We won two and lost one. Obviously, that was an insane counter deck. And I basically just lost that match because of my starting hand not having Giant. Or not having a knight to defend against his golem. Basically just lost me in the match. That, like, personally, I believe that you should be able to pick your start in hand, man. Because that is, that is, as some people would say, that is AIDS, in quotation marks. That was pretty AIDS right there. Basically lost the match because of a starting hand. And I couldn't really get back to it. And, yeah, it just, it just turned into complete... It turned into complete poo by the end of the match, yeah, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this pushing episode, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below if you guys are new, any deck suggestions, tips, tricks, video suggestions, series suggestions that you want to see on my channel, comment them down below, if you have hashtag FergFam in the comment, I am going to reply to you today, I haven't been replying as much lately because I've been playing so much Clash Royale, but yeah, I'm going to reply to you guys today, hopefully going to be up to 5500 by... I don't know, the end of this week, I'll do a couple more pushing episodes. I'm really pushing out these pushing episodes because it is getting to the late end of the season. As you guys seen, there's only nine days left. So that's why you guys are seeing so, so many pushing episodes. But yeah, I really, really want to get high up in this ladder, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new around here, subscribe up. And it's been your boy Ferg. And without further ado, let's just roll the outro.